Back with another review, we're looking at episode 4 of the greatest defence of World War 2 in colour. Last time in episode 3, which is of course titled Pearl Harbor, I kind of just went in to like the Battle of Midway, I basically described what happened, I didn't explain all it, but of course, you know, me being the nugger that I am, I actually thought they just talked about the whole thing in one episode, but you know what? We weirder things have happened, you know? So we're just gonna we're just gonna gloss over it and pretend I never did that. Even though I kinda did, but there's still a lot to talk about here in the review of the Battle of Midway. But basically this is an event that took place in June 1942. I believe it was the 4th of June to the 7th of June, so it didn't last very long. But as I explained in the review the other day, basically this was the entire Japanese Navy fleet getting wiped out. Um, we, we, the, the Americans, they see that thing in the sky, they basically reflect the thing and then they get a hunch, fuck it, that's where the Japanese fleet is. And as they appear at the clouds, they lay the absolute smack downy down on the Japanese. Um, and without that hunch, you know, the Japanese fleet probably would have lasted a wee bit longer. You know, and it's, it's, it's mad how like these wars are decided by like almost stupid things. To be perfectly honest, but it is uh, what it is. Oh, it's Battle of Midway. That's it. I'm saying a Midway. It's Midway. But anyway, man, so it was a major naval battle. You know, and I mean, even though it only takes place over across three days, it's six months after. Pearl Harbor, and it is, I believe it's only like a month after the Battle of the Coral Sea. Uh, I think I'm reading that right. But Yamamoto, he was a bit shite. He basically jobbed the, the, uh, the um, things, but basically, the, the US did some code breaking, and Midway was confirmed as AF, but the, the guy previously said it was AF, but nobody was like believing him. And then once they found out that was AF, they lay the smack down on the Japanese, the Americans. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American. Fight for what's right. Fight for your life. Hulk Hogan, would he have laid the smack down in Pearl Harbor? Probably. You never you never know. You never know. Is what it is, guys. But you know, Americans win. Um, I, I, these were really two good episodes back to back. You know, there, there is no dispute in that. I really enjoyed them both. Um, next up is the Battle of Stalingrad. At this point, like, the Americans do fight the Japanese a lot. But it's like, in 1942 here, they've basically obliterated the Japanese naval fleet. Right? I mean, there's a few attacks on Tokyo, which they go on to mention. A firebombing because that city was made basically entirely of wood back then. It just went up in fucking smoke. So that is what it is. Um, yeah, it's like, so what happened between 42 and 45? I don't, I mean, like, did the, the Japanese just sit there and be like, nah, well, we'll let, we'll let the Americans have a wee battle in Europe against the Germans and then we'll come in, brother. We'll make them look strong. Any worry about it. Not really sure what the, the Japanese were doing throughout all this, but. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Next up, the Battle of Stalingrad. Russia and Germany collide in the Battle of Stalingrad. Um, remember when Russia hosted the World Cup in 2018? One of the stadiums was in Stalingrad, and then that's what they were on it. Like, they were always on about it. And I never actually learned about the Battle of Stalingrad in school. So, yeah, the next episode will be a very, very interesting um, review, guys, to do. Um, it was interesting to see Stalin's tactics and how the Nazis got so close and that if they took Stalingrad, a lot of people think that they would have completely captured Russia. Even though Russia's massive, it just would have been a massive morale loss for Russia, if we're being perfectly honest. But it is what it is, guys. But that we'll have to do for the next time. In terms of Battle of Midway, really enjoyed this one. Was it as good as Pearl Harbor? They're probably about the same. I'm going to get a 9. You know what? It was really good documentary. It is what it is, um, and I, guys, until the next time, peace.